Hi, my name is Keith Cooper from North Light Images and um, today I'm actually down at Epson's Demo Centre which is not that far away from where I live, about 10 miles down the motorway. Anyway, this is a P5300. Now I did a very detailed review of this in the past and it's an excellent printer. Um, it's based on the chassis of the P5000. Now, P5000 has got one sitting in my office, which works very well. However, the P5000 was really generated and produced for the proofing market. This is for the photo market, so you can't use a spectra proofer, for example. Excellent printer, so I've got lots of stuff I've covered on it. But the thing I just wanted in this very short video is this is a print head. This is the print head from the P700 the P900 and this the P5300. Um, as you can see it's not very big. Um, in fact um, even with my glasses on I cannot see the actual nozzle. I can see the lines of where the nozzles are but that is the print head that you get in this the 700 and the 900. For the bigger printers you get bigger print heads and that's as much as anything because they need to cover a larger area of paper, um, they need to print faster um, and that's for example this the P20,500 which I'll be looking at um, shortly and doing some very big prints on. But this I just thought people might be interested to see what a print head looks like and that is it. Um, remember that these are not user replaceable and they shouldn't ever need to be replaced during the lifetime of the printer. Um, yeah they're yeah probably you shouldn't do this and put finger marks on an ordinary one but anyway there you go that's a P700, 900 and 5300 print head just in case you were curious. Thanks for watching and uh, all the usual like and subscribe and if you've got any questions let me know. Bye.